What's up, my pretties? It's the Lion Queen here. Welcome to episode 384. I mean, eight. No, oh, no, not 84. Uh, 48 of Shadows and Pretties. And today we are going to do the fifth Halloween movie review. Today we'll be doing is Halloween 5, The Revenge of Michael Myers. This one came out in 1989. So it is pretty much the fifth um, movie to the Halloween series that follows the killer Michael Myers who again returns to the town of Haddonfield to murder the traumatized niece, Jamie Lloyd, with whom now she shares a telepathic connection. So, uh, last time we did talk about The Return of Michael Myers, which was a pretty good um, movie. So, I am going to be talking about this one, which is the fifth Halloween movie. So, I'm going <coughs> to go with the plot, you know, talk about the plot of the movie and explain what the movie is about. So that way, if you guys haven't seen the movie in like a really long time and would want a refresher, then yep. And I will give out, you know, what the movie is about for those who have not seen it. So I'm going to sit here and get started. So basically the plot is it takes place on Halloween of 1988 where Michael Myers gets shot down by a mine shaft by Sheriff Ben Meeker and the Illinois police state but manages to crawl out before the dynamite is dropped down to ensure his death. He floats down a river and stumbles upon a shack of an elderly hermit who nurses him back to health. One year later, he reawakens and kills the hermit before returning to Haddonfield to resume the hunt for his niece, Jamie Lloyd. Jamie has been admitted to the Haddonfield Children's Clinic after attacking her foster mother. She had been rendered as mute due to the psychological trauma exhibits signs of telepathic link with her uncle, Michael Myers. Dr. Sam Loomis learns of this connection and wants to use it to defeat Michael for good. Meanwhile, Michael kills Jamie's foster sister, Rachel, and begins stalking her friend, Tina Williams. Jamie senses whenever she's, her loved ones are in danger, triggering the episodes of convulsions that disturb those around her. After unknowingly encountering Michael, posing as her boyfriend that she killed, Tina attends a Halloween party at the tower farm with her friends, Sam and Splits, sensing that Michael is following them. Jamie, having practically regained her ability to speak, escapes the clinic with the stuttering friend, Billy Hill, who tried to warn Tina of the dangers. As Splits and Sam go at it at the barn, Michael impales the former with a pitchfork and decapitates the latter with the psyche. With a scythe, I think that's what it is. I can't remember. How you actually say it. And also kills the two bumbling disputes Loomis has to entrust to protect Tina. Jamie and Bailey and Billy find Tina as Michael tries to run them down with the car. Tina ultimately sacrifices herself to save Jamie. With nothing left to lose, Jamie agrees to help Loomis stop Michael once and for all. Loomis and Meek are created out of setup at the abandoned Myers house to lure Michael back to his childhood home. The police receive the call saying that Michael has broken into a clinic, prompting Meeker and the most of the officers leave. However, this call is merely a diversion as Michael appears and kills the remaining officers. Loomis tries to reason with him, but Michael slashes him and throws him over the stair banister and pursues Jamie throughout the house to up to the attic, where she finds the bodies of Rachel, her dog Max and Tina's boyfriend. As Michael raises a knife to stab her, Jamie addresses him as uncle, causing him to pause. He agrees to remove his mask and let Jamie see his face, shedding for a brief tear. However, when Jamie touches his face, she felt he felt his face go a fit of rage and chases her again. Loomis reappears and uses Jamie as a live bait to lure Michael out into a trap. He shoots Michael with the tranquilizer gun and beats him unconscious with the wooden plank before suffering from a stroke and collapsing on top of him. Meeker and the police return to take Michael's body into custody. He gets locked in that the cell fell at the police station until he could be transferred to a maximum security facility for the rest of his life. And as Jamie prepares to return to the clinic, a mysterious man in black who has been quietly observing the day arrives and shoots up the station. Jamie finds the bodies of Meeker and several officers, as well as Michael's cell broken and empty. Realizing he escaped again, he sobs in despair, and that's how the movie ends. 
I mean, this is the fifth movie, which I think it was pretty good. It was a really great film. I mean, I personally thought, you know, Halloween 4 was, you know, really good because when I first saw um Halloween 5, I honestly really have to say it's definitely a really good film. I personally really thought it was a really enjoyable movie. So, I mean, it's the fifth movie of Halloween Ween series, which I definitely have to say that, you know, the actors and actresses did a really great job. I like the deaths of the scenes of these scenes cuz I think they they were pretty cool like the other Halloween movies and it's really it's really such a great film to the Halloween series. I mean, I mean, I know some people may disagree with me, but I personally love the Halloween movies. I thought they're really neat and well made. I personally like the first two Halloween movies the most because those two have Jamie Lee Curtis in it and I think she did a really great job in those two movies. So, with this being the case, this film is actually a quite a nice movie. I personally really enjoyed this film a lot. I thought it was really well made in detail and stuff like that. I personally love this film. I personally thought it was really neat. It's a really great film. I personally love this. So, I guess with that being the case and with that being said... I'm just going to sit here and say right now that if you are a horror fanatic and if you like the Halloween movies like I do, I can highly recommend this movie because this movie is just as good as the other Halloween movies. I know some people may disagree with me on that one, but I personally love this film. So you guys can get this movie like I think it's on YouTube and stuff like that. So you guys can go get that. And... Yeah, I could definitely say it's a really great film. It's well made in detail. It's a pretty good movie. I I can definitely recommend this to anyone who loves these type of films. So, anyways, um, like I'm always going to say and like I always continue to say, this is simply my own personal opinion. And if you happen to disagree with it, that's perfectly fine too. We're all entitled to our own opinion as regards to these movies. This is just simply my own personal thoughts. And yeah, I recommend this movie to anybody who likes the Halloween movies and stuff like that. So anyways, um, it's a good movie. I, I, I really like it a lot. I thought it was really enjoyable and well done. It's definitely a really great concept. I personally love this movie. I mean, I haven't watched this movie in a while, but I personally really thought it was really neat and well done. I personally really like this film. So I guess with that being said and that being the case, um, what did you guys personally think of this Halloween movie? Did you enjoy it? Did you not? Also, what you have done personally to help make this movie a lot better? Let me know what your thoughts are down in the comments below because I would like to hear what you guys think. So, as always, I'm the Lion Queen. Thank you so much for watching today's video. If you enjoy my this video, or I'm also known as Mr. Well, yeah. I don't know what I'm saying, but yeah. I'm the Lion Queen. Thank you so much for watching today's video. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you're new. Ring the bell for notifications to when I upload, so that way you guys will not miss an upload. And as always, if you want to follow me on Twitter, link to my Twitter account will be in the About page section, so you guys can go follow me on there. And um, if you also want to go follow me on DeviantArt, link to my DeviantArt will be in the About page section, so you guys can go follow me on there. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my backup channel known as Ms. Dark Shigo. As linked to that will also be in the about page section so you guys can go support my backup as well. And as always, if there's something that I'm missing, let me know what it is in the comments below. And I think that's pretty much everything I've covered, but you know. Anyways, with that being said and that being the case, I'll be seeing you guys all in the next video. Peace out and like always, I'll see you all next time.